Hey guys, welcome back to VR Essentials. How's it going? We have some VR breaking news just in just now with a report of a MetaQuest 3 unboxing, guys, revealing a whole bunch of different information which we are going to go through. Look at this guy over there, the DDP VR. Looks nice, right? With a little light over there. All right, let's go straight into the actual report right away. Let me open up the actual, as you can see here, the picture of the Quest 3 being unboxed, everybody, the Meta Quest 3 here. So Quest 3 unboxing leak reveals. Let me just uh, do this over here. Quest 3 unboxing leak reveals package contents and glasses support feature, which is written by David Heaney on the 23rd of August, 2023, guys. Just in, literally just in, an unofficial Meta Quest 3 unboxing video was posted anonymously on Reddit. This is becoming somewhat of a tradition now for Meta's headset. Last year, Quest Pro design and packaging leaked a month before launch in a similar unofficial unboxing video posted by a hotel worker. Guys, I'm not quite sure if you actually remember this video that came out uh, last year with the hotel worker. That was so funny. Although, to be honest with you, we're not quite sure whether that hotel worker had any problems or as a result was fired or, you know, just something that perhaps may have occurred. And by the way, guys, just want to show you that we have the Pimax crystal here, guys. Do hit the notification bell after you subscribe as I will be doing some live gameplay over the weekend with the Pimax and of course a whole bunch of other videos which are going to be coming to the channel as we're now an official Pimax. Whew. Pimax, we're part of the actual Pimax influencing program, guys. So Make sure to hit the likes for that. So yeah, so coming back to Major Quest 3 today, yes, this hotel worker, which I think may have gotten fired or had some problems of some kind. I remember when this happened. Do you remember? Leave a comment below if you remember. Let me know what happened to the actual guy who, uh, you know, of that hotel worker. So let's play the actual video, guys. There we go. All right, so is there a way to make it bigger? There we go. So is he actually, is there something that happens? There we go. So here's the unboxing, everybody. Ooh, what do you guys think? Leave some comments below. What do you think of the controllers? They look quite big and flat. They look like cookies. Cookies you could just pick up and eat. Yum, 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 yum. So that's the Quest 3, everybody. It looks actually pretty light. I would say a bit like the Pico 4. But in terms of design, I don't know. I think the Pico 4 kind of looks a bit better. What do you guys think? Do leave a comment below. So what do you think in terms of the design itself? The design looks a bit flat. Now the controllers look all right. They look ergonomically okay. Although I'm not quite sure because the rings are not there, of course. So again, it looks like they could fall out of your hands quite easily. But of course, there's a lanyard there to hold the actual controllers. Let's just play it once more. There we go. So here we have the opening. Sorry about the uh, Hobby Japan things advertising there on the phone. It's not mine, of course. I can't get rid of them. But yeah, so let's just pause it very quickly. So here you go, guys. I mean, it looks it looks actually kind of plasticky, to be honest with you. To me, it doesn't look like a very... I don't know, it just doesn't look... doesn't feel very, very premium, I have to say. What what do you guys think about this? Let me just turn around. There we go again. What, what do you guys think? Do you think it looks kind of premium? Do you think it looks kind of cool? Do you like the design? Does it look as good as the... 3D renders to you, does this excite you or does this make you feel actually, come to think of it, mm, not quite sure what to say about it, not quite sure what to what to do about it. Leave some comments below guys, how do you feel watching the footage of the actual unboxing if we were to go back into it. There you go, here you go. So let me just bring it there. Okay, so it's, it's just the way it is guys, sorry, I can't change the actual angle because he's unpacking it. Like that. But yeah, it does feel kind of plasticky to me. It doesn't feel like it's a very solid kind of headset. I mean, I could be wrong. It could just be the video, but yeah, it doesn't... I don't know, guys. Tell me what you think. It looks very spongy, though. It looks quite light, I have to admit. Let's just pause it again, just there. There we go. So this reveals something. I think it reveals... I don't know what it reveals. Maybe it's talking about the dimension, the width inside, or something like that. Not quite sure. I can't really tell, to be honest with you, because... It looks kind of blurry there on the instructions. Let's see again. Can't, not quite sure, guys. What do you make of this? Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, you can see the lenses here. 
looks very spongy. It does look very comfortable. It looks light, I have to admit. It doesn't make me feel like, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's, uh, it, 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 it really doesn't look, it just doesn't look very heavy to me. It just doesn't. It looks like it's a 350 gram VR headset, to be honest with you. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks heavy? Do you think, do you think it'll be lighter than the Pico 4? Because the Pico 4 can be quite uncomfortable after a while as well. Although the Metal Quest 3 is supposed to be, of course, front heavy. But I don't know, it looks kind of lighter here. What do you, you know, what do you guys think? Do leave a comment below. Love to get your thoughts on that. Let's keep playing it as we, there we go. So yeah, but uh, it's, it does, I don't know. I mean, the, the controllers, let me just pause it. Let me see if I can pause it. There we go. I mean, the controllers do look like cookies. <laughs> it looks like a bunch of Oreos. I don't know, they look, I don't know. Again, they look quite plasticky. I find that the top here, I know it, it looks like I can see some of the plastic being put together, but maybe again, it's just the, you know, it's just the, the, the little, I don't know, maybe there's plastic covering, covering it or something, or not quite sure. They look quite flat. I know they don't look very exciting. They look quite small as well. I'm not quite sure if people with big hands will be able to throw things, you know, like throwing bombs or grenades inside of contractors, for example, will be, you know, will be kind of, you know, will be something that basically is going to be user friendly, I would say. All right, so let's uh, just do this. So only the headset controllers and a small box, uh, likely containing AA batteries and leaflets, are visible, which suggests the announced charging dock recently approved by the FCC will be sold separately, everybody, so and not included. So it's very possible it won't be included. Of course, Meta needs to make some money, right? Uh, Meta officially announced Quest 3 in early June but it hasn't yet confirmed all the headset specs and features, such as the exact resolution, although we think it will be 4K, refresh rate, uh, which we do think will be 120 hertz, uh, RAM, which we do think will be eight gigabytes, or the highest store, store, storage tier, which we think will be 256 or 518 uh, gigabytes. What it has officially stated is the visor is 40% thinner thanks to pancake lens, uh, the GPU is more than twice as powerful, and it has dual color cameras and a sensor for mixed reality, we've seen understanding. The base model has 128 gigabyte storage and will be priced at 500 US dollars, excluding taxes and all the rest of it. So guys, it will most probably cost around 550 or $600, including all the rest, most probably, unless they have free shipping. The instructional white cardboard seen attached to the headset is the unboxing, may reveal another feature, however. So again, you can see here, not quite sure what it means. I bloody hope it's not the IPD, guys. I really hope it's not the IPD. If this is the IPD, I'm telling you now, I'm telling you now, now guys, if, if, if it is the IPD adjustment and you have to do click, 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 I'm not buying the Quest 3. I'm simply not going to be buying it because I do not agree with IPD adjusters that are click, click, click. It is ridiculous, really ridiculous. What do you guys think? Do you prefer the click, click? IPD adjustment, or do you prefer the one like, for example, on the HP Reverb G2, where you have something underneath you can just manually do, or, you know, electronic version like Pico 4, although it's not my preferred choice, I prefer manual, or perhaps like DPVR, electronic also, you have to go into the app to adjust it. Again, I don't really like that. Or the Pimax with buttons on the top, which you can just press, and it will, it will adjust for you electronically. Now that I like a lot as well, as I do with the HP Reverb G2, guys. So yeah, let me just go back to the actual article. So I do hope it's not the IPD, everybody. Uh, hopefully it's something to do with the spacers or for people who are wearing specs. It seems to depict the ability to adjust the depth of the facial interface to move the lenses further away from your eyes, which that would be good. This is also called relief adjustment and it also prevents on Quest Pro, Valve Index, HTC Vive and both PlayStation VR, so it's present on those headsets. Extending the depth allows glasses to fit between your eyes and the lenses, but also reduces the field of view. Oh no, I really, really hope not. I really hope that the field of view with those with specs will be at least 100 or 105 degrees, guys. Really do hope so. Uh, so instead, required removing the facial interface and also, of course, adding an included glass spacer underneath it. Lens depth adjustment was actually spotted in the Quest firmware back in February, everybody. So that's basically the firm uh, code here that they put. Meta hasn't yet revealed the exact launch date of the Quest 3, although it will be revealed, everybody, as we know. Uh, actually, it will be revealed on September 27 and 28, right? So either the 27, first speaker, you know, first speaking with Boz talking on Facebook Connect, 
boom, revealed. Or, you know, of course, it will be revealed another time. Who knows about that? Um, okay, guys, so let me just go back very quickly. There we go. For a summary of everything announced, uh, so yes, yeah, so as I said, they will reveal it on September 27. For a summary of everything announced and discovered about Quest 3 so far, read a few blah, 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 blah. All right, guys, so there you go. There you have it. Breaking, breaking VR News first channel on YouTube to be talking about this, guys. Really hope you learned something. Smash the likes, help the algorithm to promote this video further down to more people so we can go to the VR Essentials community because you guys are awesome. Of course, you're super awesome. Thanks to you that we're part of the Pimax, inf sorry, the official Pimax Influencer Program, Ambassador Program, as I just mentioned just now. We will definitely be doing some videos of the Pimax Crystal coming very soon over the weekend as well. So do hit the notification bell after you hit the subscribe button so that, you know, you are notified about all this awesomeness that's coming to the channel. And guys, this video today is sponsored by VR-Wave Door Store who are my go-to, my go-to, everybody, lens prescription adapter, uh, you know, supplier, to be honest with you. So, so it's VR, Dashwave, Door Store. And guys, you do get 5% discount using the promo code Singapore, uh, VR Essentials, of course. So do, they do sell Quest. Uh, they do sell Quest. They sell HP Reverb G2. They sell absolutely everything, guys. So do go and check out their website. I've been using their products for now three years. I'm super happy. So VR-Wave Dove Store, thank you very much for being one of our partners. You do get, as I mentioned before, a 5% discount when you use the promotional code VR Essentials. All right, guys, see you in another video very, very soon. Smash the like, smash the notification bell, after you subscribe. Bye for now. Bye-bye.